I feel bewildered to find that people on the internet are busy 24 into 7 teaching the art of unconscious manifestation. They are truly dangerous. They can destroy your life. They are not making you aware of the consequences of what you desire unconsciously. Most of your desires ultimately prove disastrous for you because they are born out of unconsciousness. For example, if you are going to ask a drug addict about what he would like to manifest, he would tell that he would desire to manifest an unending supply of drugs. And you very well know that the manifestation of this desire will prove suicidal. Now the question arises, how to distinguish or identify the unconscious desires? In view of the enlightened masters of this planet, there are three categories of desires which can be termed as unconscious desires. The first category belongs to such desires which are born out of an ugly obsession to seek unending pleasure of various kinds in life. This mad obsession becomes an addiction to seek pleasures one after the other and the whole life becomes a pursuit of pleasures. And ultimately you throw yourself into a rat race for unlimited money, unlimited power and unlimited prestige. You will be surprised to find that any extent of manifestation of these desires fails to provide you fulfillment just because whatever is achieved that becomes entirely meaningless. This is the human psychology that when you become entirely familiar with something then that thing starts becoming of no interest for you. That is why it has been said that no person on this house has been able to find a beautiful wife or a big house. And the only reason behind this fact is that after you get a beautiful wife, the charm goes off within three, four months of living together. And once you get a house, that house becomes smaller you start searching a bigger house, a more beautiful house. Until and unless you place a limit on these pleasurable pursuits, your life will become a chain of tensions, troubles and turmoils. Consequently, there is no wisdom in destroying your whole life for these cheap thrills. Therefore, I will advise you, to watch consciously the unconscious desires. This will enable you to perceive the utility and futility of each and every single demand and desire of your life. And this conscious watching will bring about a great revolution in your demands. In due course of time, unwarranted desires will start arising from within. The second category of unconscious desires belong to such desires which are born out of different kinds of fear. This also includes the desires which are born out of egoistic ambition to have more money, more prestige and more power. The third category of unconscious desires are born out of your madness to imitate others. When you have no answers about what should you do with your life, then you start automatically seeking guidance in other people's life. You see that people are running after money, after prestige, after power and so on and so forth. And you also throw yourself into the same race. And this blind race ultimately leads to the destruction of your life. In fact, there have been very few people like Mahabir, Buddha, Krishna and Christ who could try to find their own answers, it requires great amount of guts and courage. Be watchful about your desires and if you find that they are cheap imitations of others, immediately drop them and you will find that a new awakening has started happening from within you. So my simple advice is, 
observe very consciously if your desires happen to fall out of any of these three categories they will start dropping down on their own a sincere effort for awareness and the great miracle happens